thing I shot um, in um, um, in for uh, uh, Death Becomes Her. Uh -huh. um, and then, uh, and then you know, we didn't. We ended up not using the scene, but uh, yeah. That's too bad. Yeah, I know it is. Okay. Are we getting that on on DVD? Maybe. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, it was, a, it, was a, it was, it was the ending of the movie, but it was, a, it didn't work right, so I did a different ending. But um, yeah, I was there for a week. Okay. Anyway, you've been in Switzerland. Uh, Castaway. I noticed a couple of symbols in Castaway. The most obvious one, uh, the the watch, of course. And then there's that mountain in the mm -hmm. background. Uh, would that be like the presence of nature, God uh, Himself? Could be. Could be. Depends on how you look at it. You know. Um, um, but you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, 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 things that are iconic symbolism in the movie. Mm -hmm. Like the whale. The whales, another one. Water is another one. All those things, you know. What would you like the audience to think about the whale scene? Um, well, you know, it's it's real hard for a filmmaker to you know like make you know to to, to, to to suggest what an audience should think or feel about it, something that he's put in the movie. But certainly, the uh, you know the whale's an important uh, element, and it's a kind of a spiritual element or to, to the movie. A Christian symbol. No, I wouldn't say Christian. I wouldn't give it. I wouldn't put a. When I use the word spiritual, I mean that in a human humanist sense and not in a religious sense. Okay. You think a real life person would wait as long as Tom Hanks in the movie to open those packages? Um, I think it would depend on the individual, of course. Yeah. Wouldn't I mean, that... I mean, certainly. So you mean someone who wasn't a FedEx employee? Probably not. They'd open them right away, mm -hmm. right? Did mm -hmm. you talk to a FedEx workers what they would, how they would behave, maybe? You know, I didn't talk to anyone specifically at FedEx on how they would behave. But I mean, it was in, it was you know, you know, I, that wasn't the time and the place when he opens those those packages was always designed in the screenplay so it wasn't even if someone would have said no it's, you know that wouldn't be realistic I would have done it this way anyway because it was right for the story mm -hmm. I noticed um, in the middle section the film is beginning to take its time it's uh, slowing down a little mm -hmm. by using long shots and the editing is that something that was already in the script as well no I mean there was never any any film style suggestion in the screenplay or, at all which I think any really good screenplay never does that. So is that something you do in the editing room afterwards, or no? I think that's what. Well, I think the the director. That's what you know. His. I think the screenplay sort of. Um, if a screenplay is really good, what it does is it sort of um, it, it it inspires a director, inspires images in a director's mind and tone and things like that, and then that becomes the combination of shooting style and then editing later on. Mm -hmm. I think uh, an audience nowadays is used to um, to have uh, the big finale uh, to to expect the big finale in an adventure film, which would be the uh, escape from the island. Mm -hmm. uh, did you give any thought to um, that you maybe might lose the audience there? Um, no, I mean because there was no way there was no. I mean the audience was going to have to accept the movie on its terms because. There was no way to tell the story um, truthfully um, and not have to worry about. Um, I mean, there was no way that I could impose um, any obvious um, references to other types of movies to to sort of. You know, it just it was just never it was just never a, an issue. Uh, we've got to know you as a director of comedy. And now you're shifting to more dramatic stuff, uh, if I may say so. Are we about to lose a good comedy director? You got me. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't done any of this by design, so I don't know what the future holds. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's any... I, I certainly wouldn't say that there's a possibility that I would never do another comedy. I, you know, I, have, no, I have no opinion about it one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Would you say it's hard to please an audience with comedy? Oh, comedy is the hardest thing you can do. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who said that uh, dying is easy, comedy is hard? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was a famous quote from a comedian. I don't know who, what the, who the comedian was, but that was a famous quote. Mm-hmm. Uh, any future projects you, you would like to comment? No, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I'm going to just take some time and look at the look at the landscape. Mm -hmm. Is that because you have been busy uh, the last couple of years doing two movies at the same time? Yeah, that and uh, it's something that I always do. You know, I always try to take breaks in between the movies mm -hmm. and not try to have them backed up one right after the other. And then how you, how get you do you get you uh, intrigued by a new project? Is it just a simple uh, Hollywood pitch or pitching a story? Um, it can be that. Sometimes it can be the screenplay. It can be uh, you know. There's no there's no formula. There's no formula. It's always different. Mm -hmm. So it might be somebody just approaches you with an idea and you say, "Let's do that." Yeah, but then you wouldn't be able to commit to a movie until you finally have a screenplay. So, I mean, you could say, oh, that's an intriguing idea, but then I think we should look at the screenplay later. I mean, you wouldn't say, oh, yes, I'm going to make that movie based on a pitch. I think you'd have to see a screenplay to actually really get a sense of whether you've got a movie there or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, which rounds it up pretty All good. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you very much.